Within the next 24 hours, Arvind K. Jival will resign as the Delhi Chief Minister. He announced his decision while addressing our Madhmi Party workers at party headquarters on Sunday. Now, he said that he is ready to give an Agni Pariksha, quote-unquote, assuring workers to announce the name of the next Chief Minister by Tuesday. He's also sent across a message to the Election Commission and asked them to shift Delhi Assembly polls from February 2025 to November this year along with Maharashtra and Jharkhand, which are going to polls. Meanwhile, former mentor Anna Hazare has hit out at Arvind K. Jival for defying his advice to shun politics. तो केस ये अभी लंबा चलेगा आज कोर्ट जितना कर सकता था कोर्ट ने हमारे पक्ष में निर्णय लिया है हमें बेल दे दी उन्होंने ऐसे कानून में जिसमें बेल मिलनी नामुमकिन होती है दो दिन के बाद आज से दो दिन के बाद मैं सीएम की कुर्सी से इस्तीफा देने जा रहा हूं और मैं तब तक सीएम की कुर्सी पे नहीं बैठूंगा जब तक जनता अपना फैसला ना सुना दे अगर आप मेरे को वोट देके जिताओगे और अगर आप कहोगे कि केजरीवाल ईमानदार है तो चुनाव के बाद उसके बाद जाके मैं सीएम की कुर्सी पे बैठूंगा तब तक मैं सीएम की कुर्सी पे नहीं बैठूंगा मैं पहले से ही बता रहा था राजनीति में नहीं जाना समाज की सेवा करो बहुत बड़ा आदमी बन जाएगा कई साल हम लोग साथ में थे वो टाइम बार बार मैं कह रहा था कि राजनीति में नहीं जाना समाज सेवा ये अपने जीवन में आनंद दे दे आनंद में डूबे रह रहा हूँ लेकिन उसके दिल में लग रहा है वो बात आई नहीं और आज जो होना तो हो गया all right, so let's take a look at the various scenarios uh, which the Delhi Chief Minister has perhaps found himself in and what is expected in the next few days and weeks to come, perhaps. The new Delhi Chief Minister is going to be named maybe in a few days. AAP is obviously going to be looking for the sympathy factor here. This is most likely. Also, another scenario, possible dissolution of the Assembly with the Delhi Chief Minister saying no and this needs the governor's nod. This is perhaps unlikely. Also, the governor could recommend a central rule. Polls can be postponed for six months. That's also a huge possibility as far as the next few hours and days here is concerned when it comes to Delhi's future. Arvind K. Jival is all set to quit as the CM and within the next 24 hours, the name of the new Chief Minister will be announced. On Sunday, he said that the former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manisa Sodia is also out on bail in the Delhi Liquor Gate case, rejected this proposal to accept the top post. He didn't want it. Amadni Party has called for a legislative party meeting on Tuesday and the new CM is likely to be chosen in this meeting. So far, AAP Netas have not ruled out Arvind Kejriwal's wife, Sunita Kejriwal, from the picture. She took charge of AAP's Lok Sabha campaign during Arvind Kejriwal's absence. Sources also say that four Delhi ministers, Atishi, Kailash Gehlot, Saurabh Bhardwaj and Gopal Rai could be the next contenders. These ministers hold multiple portfolios in the cabinet and are said to be very close aides of Arvind Kejriwal. One of the contenders to replace Arvind Kejriwal in Delhi is, is Delhi Minister Atishi. My colleague in India today is Rahul Kaval spoke exclusively with her and asked her if the Chief Minister's wife, Sunita Kejriwal, will become the next Chief Minister of Delhi. Listen in to what she said. Both Shahzad Punawala of the BJP and Taishin suggesting, insinuating that Sunita Kejriwal, the Chief Minister's wife, is likely to be the next Chief Minister. Would you like to rule that out or in that list of probables, do you think it's legitimate for her to be one of the candidates as well? Rahul, we just discussed this 10 minutes ago that the legislative party has not met yet. Once the legislative party meets, then a decision will be taken who will be the chief minister till the Delhi elections happen. But what we are keen on is the fact that elections should happen as soon as possible because we want a mandate from the people of Delhi. 
We want to know what the people are doing. No, so you're not ruling out Sunita Kejriwal. Basically, you're saying she's. Have been put. If the legislators decide that she should be CM, she's one of the candidates as well, whose candidature will be discussed. Or I am saying exactly what I said ten minutes ago that the legislative party has not even met yet. Once the legislative party meets, then only any decision will be taken. And as soon as we take a decision, don't worry, Rahul, we will inform you also. We will inform Shahzad and we will inform Tehseen as well about Thank what you. the decision of the legislative party is. A Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal is resigning on the 17th of September. Political corridors are buzzing with many questions. One of them is, why does Arvind Kejriwal need 48 hours to quit as the CM? BJP and Ahmadi Party ally Congress is also asking why Arvind K. Jival announced his resignation today when he wants to resign after two days. BJP has also questioned what is, whether there is infighting in the Ahmadi Party for the CM chair. Ally Congress has said why can't K. Jival run the Delhi government from outside the jail when he ran the government from jail. Justifying the 40-year hours, Delhi Minister Ati, she said that today is Sunday, referring to yesterday and tomorrow, which is today, is a holiday, given its seed. So the CM can resign on the next working day, which is Tuesday. जेल के अंदर भी वो सीएम रहे बाहर भी रह सकते हैं जब किसी ने जेल के अंदर सीएम बने सकते बाहर क्यों नहीं हो सकता है उनके दूसरे काम में कोई ज्यादा इस समय तबजी देने की जरूरत होती है हो सकते ये ये तर्जिया कौन से कहां क्या देगा ना देगा ये उनकी अपना मर्जी की माफी होना चाहिए वो कह रहे हैं कि उनका मनोबल गिराने के लिए उन्हें जेल में हो सकता है बिल्कुल हो सकता है